news the stories Come over here, no worries If you're looking for the hot topic Don't worry, cause she got them all right here Hello to all my beautiful neighbors Welcome to On um, Brit's Block, this is Brit As you come in, please like the video It helps me out a lot and then subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Tell your neighbors and your friends and family to come on over to Brits Block and find out what's going on. Also, hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Everything in this video is alleged and in my opinion. Again, everything is alleged and in my opinion. Stormy, stormy, stormy. You thought you pulled out the big dogs. But all you did was pull out more problems. All we have are questions that we won't ask answers. And you seem to have a problem with doing that. I was watching here for Hot Tea's video and I'm gonna pin the link to that video in my comment section. And it got me thinking about a lot of things. And I just have some questions for you. Comments and thoughts for you. But let's get into a few articles that I read about Stormy online. Let's get into this one where how Candace Beauty Vision started. Stormy decided to follow a vivid dream that came to her in 2010 while in college. With only 23 credit hours left to complete her degree and a 3.7 GPA, Stormy followed her dream and dropped out to pursue a license in cosmetology. Within a year, Stormy became a well-paid six-figure hairstylist and salon owner. Still not fulfilled, Stormy transitioned from behind the chair to building an e-commerce business with the launch of her self-developed hair care product line. Well, Storma should have stayed in college. So we can already see that she's not smart because you was right at the end of graduating. But yet and still you decided you wanted to drop out of school and go to hair school, which you probably could have did both of them. And because of your business acumen, how you are today, you should have taken some business classes throughout all these years in order for you to be a better business person or have that mentality of being a better business person because you're not understanding you have the CEO out here that Kyle that you got out here trying to save face for you now when if you would go back to school get the training and the knowledge that you need you will be a better person as far as being a business person and then the biggest thing is stop trying to be in competition with somebody that don't care nothing about you Stormy is so braggadocious but let's get into this next article in 2019, the company went viral, but the unexpected push from less than 6,000 orders per month to 30,000 in four days led the two-person team of Steele and Husband and business partner Courtney Beasley to fall months behind on orders. Everything was a challenge. We had to build a complete fulfillment center, and we had to build a complete customer service team. I even had a struggle getting inventory because we were making it by hand. So now, having to find a manufacturer to help mass produce it. These articles are for 2021. When will she ever learn? You couldn't keep up then, and you can't keep up now. And if you go from making 6,000 orders or less in a month to 30,000, in four days, common sense should tell you that you need to stop and say, wait, I got to catch up with what I got and just hold on the orders. Common sense got to kick in there somewhere because now we're not only facing not getting orders out, but it's 2024 and you facing lawsuits left and right. Now let's get into some of the things that Kyle had to say. In my opinion, I don't think that's really Kyle. I think it's Stormy disguising as a white man because number one, there's not too many CEOs out here that are clear that use the word haters. And then all of a sudden you got this amount of product and you got this amount when it comes down to numbers and dollars and cents. That's something stomach that always saying. I went from this amount to that amount. I went from this minute to that, that minute. That's something she always say. And then for somebody that have stolen your patent, and then they said they did whatever product you had, they, they stole it from you. That's just like you said, the U.S. Postal Service stole your, your um, packages too, opened them up, and I guess sold them or something. So you always making up excuses about what somebody do. Take responsibility for your own mistakes. And then he, then he talking about you need a bigger facility. I don't know if you look at your videos or if people pay attention to the background of your videos. If you look on the, on your videos, there is so much space in their warehouse 
that that's empty. You got empty pallet racks and all that. So why would you go out here and make a bigger bill? Because you can't pay the bill you got now. That's why you need a bigger building. No, find us a bigger chemist and bigger instructions on what's in your products. Then, then you can move to a bigger building. You may, you may sell more. And let's look at when Kyle said that when he started back in 23, he was going back to send out orders that you should have sent out in 22. That's a whole year later. He shouldn't have had to do that. The people money should have been refunded. And talking about he got a good customer care service team, you can't. Because if you did those those back orders and everything that was sent out that didn't go out, it would have been done by now. You won't have to wait no year later to get your stuff. See, I don't know if you realize or not, but if you don't get people that stuff, or the product is a defect smelling any way other than what it's supposed to, you just like the Scots. You scanning people in one of the words. You scanning people because you're not giving people what they really want. Canvas Beauty can't grow like it should because Stormy is too busy trying to be in competition. I don't think Stormy realized that she is in a competition by herself because Melanie really and truly is not paying her any attention. She's doing her own thing. Your company is about growth itself. You can't worry about what somebody else is doing. But let's look at this. Last Friday, Melanie dropped two new scents of her body care line. Okay, so blueberry, orange burst, tights, everything is active on the site. Y'all head over, do what it do. You guys already know our scrubs are the truth. Vegan, natural, paraben free, leaves your skin feeling soft and smelling just as good. So that's what you need to head over and do because we- And then today, here goes some dormy up here with three new scents. I'm about to figure out which of the new scents that the warehouse is rocking with. There you go. Which one you like? And stop playing. You hear me? And, it, and it's the only scent that's unisex just like Siamo too. So you got you gotta go with that. So you are a keep it a hundred there, nigga. <laughs> go. Which one you like? Oh, I gotta go with the uh I got the, I like I like this keep it a honey. Man, cause you know if you ain't keeping a honey, you ain't one honey. What you doing? You know? Now I see a thousand people packing product. So who making it? Because you said it's made in house, but anyway. She out here trying to outdo Mel for what? Because the thing is, she really need to go back and revamp the smells that she already have. That would be the smartest thing. You have people that are complaining about it smelling certain kind of ways or not having the scent that they thought it would or not strong enough. So why not go and revamp those scents first? They would make more sense. And then instead of dropping three of them at, at, at one time, drop one and have somebody test these scents to make sure that they are really good. Because my thing is, I want to know what I want to know, especially because it's a body glaze. And everybody talk about shining, shining, shining. But when you shine, are you moisturizing the skin too? Or you just got this high glow? Because if that's the case, I can get some baby oil and get a high, a high shine. So... What is your product really doing besides giving somebody a skin glow? Because you can get a skin glow anywhere. Is it moisturizing your skin? Is it good for your skin? What's in your product? And then for them to say that it's made in-house. Well, if people complain about the smell, all you got to go back and do is put more perfume or whatever you need to do, to the concentration in there to fix it. So my question is too with that, another question. You saying it's made in-house and you're not white labeling your stuff and you tired of people just always talking about you, then my thing is prove the people wrong. If it's made in-house in your warehouse right now, which I don't understand how it can be made in your warehouse like real quick because you moved in over the weekend was back up the next the next um you moved in over the weekend up and running that Monday, but this looking at this building behind these videos that I see, I see empty 
rack pellets, pellet racks, excuse me, I see empty pellet racks, and I see a lot of empty space. I don't see nowhere in that place that you got machines or can hear a machine up and running making anything. But show us, you ain't got to show us the ingredients, but show us them pouring the stuff into the machines and the, it pumping them out. I mean, if you can see them make crayons on Sesame Street, we can see you make Kim's Beauty at, at your shop. So, I mean, prove the people wrong. You, you don't want nobody to talk about you? Then prove the people that, hey, look, this is my um, part of my building right here where we make this product. And it go through right here, and they putting labels on the product. And then this person right here down this line, they do this, they do that. Show us that, and we'll quit talking about it. She is getting bigger and bigger as far as the building goes and more products, but she's not getting wiser and wiser. And no offense to anybody, but you got a bunch of hood people working for you. They are not going to care about your business as much as you would. Not being judgmental, but you need to get some people that's really going to do some work. Have them look like they just don't got up out of bed and came to work. At one point in time, what, what some need to realize while you sit here thinking or saying that Melanie only doing skincare line because of you and she trying to, you know, I guess follow in your footsteps, be your shadow, that's not true. Because at one point in time, Melanie had embraced which was a skincare line. And she had that skincare line before Stormy was even on the show. So she knows the ins and outs of skincare line. But Melanie had to let Embrace go because that particular business was built under the umbrella of when her and Martel was together. So whenever she started dissolving businesses that were between the both of them, that's one that she had to let go. So she ain't new to the game. She just true to it. So she know how it, how it works in this area. Yep, I have another question. In the article I read, it said that Stormy started with a hair care line and how growth serum was working for it and how it was growing. Let's get into this. So if the hair care line was working for you, why do you stay in that particular field? Why is it that now you can't sell, sell those products? And why did you get them to teach her? Because we know that she was white laboring because they showed it on the video of her and her daughters putting labels on top of your stuff. So it would have made more sense for you to stay in the field of hair care where you, where you know you was growing instead of moving somewhere else. But once again, it probably had to do something with you not paying your bills. I don't know who didn't tell you to go get an accountant because if you're trying to kick... If you're trying to keep the books and run the business and run the floor and, and the micromanage everything, you can't do that. So where is the hair care line now? You just glazing it up. You just keep revamping. And I hate to keep putting mail in this though, but she has had several successful businesses that she has brought about and they're still being, they're still alive and well. So you competing against somebody on one level and she she got more than one thing that she got her hands in. And you got your hand in one thing and you can't even keep it keep it afloat. Again, if you want people to stop talking about you, either show your real life and your business and how it works so that can't nobody say, oh, she white laboring it or she doing this and she doing that. Show people Look, I'm proving to you I have this machine right here. These are my workers right here. Then they stop talking about you. But until you stop doing that, we're going to talk about you. And if you don't really like it that much, it hurts your feelings, get off TV. Then we'll stay off your neck. It's sad when even the customers know your business practices are bad. Let's get into this video. I am so glad someone commented this because when I tell you the body glaze was the first thing that TikTok actually like, influenced me to like actually go ahead and buy. And like I hate men centered content but at that time I saw those videos talking about my man ate me up, men smell it off of me, they love the scent of it, da, da, da. like I was like I need this shit. I got pineapple upside down, I have drunken peach, and I had marshmallow toast but it got taken by TSA. 
here is the real fucking review of this shit. I have a few issues with her in general. I understand her marketing technique where it's like, okay, I'm not going to outwardly tell people the scent descriptions so they have to go and buy it and try it for themselves. I understand that whatever you be able to buy, get making your money, but it gets to a point where it's like, now you want to be all professional and shit. She's making her videos talking about, I just went to California and visited the the best scent fragrance people in the world and had a whole conference with them. Okay, so let's act like we're professional scent people and list a scent description and notes. Like, come on. Because now you're just like wasting our money. The black community's money. Because what, what's, the, what's the original one? Like the donut one? That one smells nasty. I had to say it. I had to say it. My friend bought that shit and like it smells less like donut and more like Biscoff like cookie. And it's like... Why I, I have to go watch a million videos to figure out what something smells like and even then it's not even right. And I remember one time I commented on one of her videos and I was like, hey, can you give us some scent descriptions? And oh, that made me so mad because she was picking up scents talking about, ooh, cream puff smells like that girl. Cream puff smells like that bitch. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Like I was like. <laughs> like let's keep it above because this is not no small business no more and i'm probably gonna go buy the body jobs because i like body scented oils better i feel like they last longer but it's like girl like let's now get professional like let's make this whole process easier for people because like i have people that are like i don't want to buy that shit because i don't know what the fuck this shit smells like first of all drunken peach it smells like artificial peach or whatever but let's fix the names here drunken peach I'm thinking hint of like whiskey or bourbon, a little like alcoholic undertone, some vanilla and some like layers to it. Cause bitch, why did you just call it peach? Like where's the drunken? I don't smell it. And then the inconsistency of the body glazes, like I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if it's still this issue because I haven't bought from her in a while, but when like she was like newer, all the shit was smelling mixed and matched damn marshmallow toast smelled like damn cream puff and damn vice versa people were getting marshmallow toast it smelled like nothing felt like beeswax and then somebody was getting like the best bottle the best whatever container ever of it like it's just inconsistent as hell i want to tell you i was i was riding for this girl i was on them lives i was so interested in the whole brand and everything because it is a great product i'm not gonna diss her at all this shit is great on my eczema too moisturizes it I can't use fragrance. I just like gave up on using fragrance scented like body butters, oils, everything because my skin has issues that kind of stuff. But with this stuff, no breakouts, no irritation, great on sensitive skin. I love her for that because I don't know what's in this shit but it works for my skin, it gives you a great shine, has a nice smell on it. But like we need to start getting professional because we're at a point where she's talking about she's making all this money. Let's think, let's make it cohesive now. Like, okay, like we're not in the start of beginning parts anymore. So we need to evolve, please. This is all in my opinion. As I close, Stormy is getting what she deserved, which is karma. She knew Slaw from the beginning before she even met Melanie. Because Slaw cousin supposedly worked in her building. Now, you know, like everybody else, girls going to be out here running their mouth. Probably don't tell her about this. And told her that Slaw was missing with hotel. So she thought she'd find a way to slide in there. And probably at home talking to the Satan's strongest warrior, Bullface Betty. And she don't talk to into trying to get on the show to be a star. That's not how you do things. When you knew that this girl knew this person right here, you shouldn't even try to go in and even walk into that territory. Because the soul, the, the seed you sowed, you had to reap it. So now while you out here trying to outdo Melody, it's not working. You get more lawsuits. You trying to go bigger. And it's failing for you. Because you did everything wrong. If you had been honest from the beginning, you probably would have been further along. See, you want to attach yourself to Martel. Hotel is not who you want to attach yourself to. He failing. You need to attach yourself to Mel because everything attached to her win. But see, Karma, all he did was just spin the block on you because you did things the wrong way. So in my opinion, all she getting back is Karma. So you might want to stop whining about all your lawsuits and 
People talking about you. You want to be on the show? Voila. You on the show. So now you got to reap what you sow. And when you in public side, believe me, they going to talk about you. And as long as the, the, the content creators are around and you do what you do, you give us more to talk about. And we appreciate you. Thank you. So we consider this. All we want is the questions that we have answered. We want to hear out the horse's mouth, not the donkey's ass. Y'all, this all, that's all I have for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. You already know what to do. Have a great day on purpose.